Two of New Zealand Entertainment's great creative minds both have exhibitions opening tomorrow and both tell harrowing and personal stories of the First World War. At Te Papa, Sir Richard Taylor and Weta Workshop use eight supersized fighting figures to get across the scale of the tragedy. And just down the road will be Sir Peter Jackson's take on it all. Emma Jolliffe reports. Larger than life and a victim of the Gallipoli campaign, Jack Dunn was evacuated with pneumonia, returned unwell and when found asleep at his post, he was court-martialed and sentenced to death. But instead he was imprisoned, then sent to the front where he died at Chunuk Bear. His great-great-niece says seeing him is very moving. And I burst into tears. I walked in and I saw this and I cried. I really, I did. And I didn't expect that. Gallipoli, the scale of our war at Te Papa, tells the stories of seven soldiers and a nurse, recreated in incredible detail by Weta Workshop. I feel an amazing connection to each of the characters, to each of these people. Uh, they speak uh, with a voice from the past. Grandson of Sergeant Cecil Malthus, who spent several weeks at Quinn's post, says these men went through hell. These are just ordinary people, really. These aren't, these aren't you know, the, the, the generals. These are, these are just, but for an accident of history, this could be anyone. Sir Richard admits some may find the scenes confronting. To shy away from that and sanitise the exhibition uh, would have, in my view, and thankfully in Te Papa's view, been inappropriate. The Great War Exhibition at Pukiahu National War Memorial Park, which also opens tomorrow, focuses mainly on the war on the Western Front. As a war, it, it's an absolute, it was a hopeless war, it was a war for no reason. I mean, at, at no point was anybody fighting for anything that really meant anything. There's no black and white in this exhibition, although the technology at the time meant photographs were all in black and white. Jackson says the experience of the soldiers was very much in colour. Weta Digital has colourised photographs like this one of New Zealand soldiers capturing German field guns. You see detail, you see a, it's, it's emotional, it actually has a power that, that you're just, um, it really takes you by, by surprise. And this is the reason the $10 million plus exhibition is free. You can't send your kids off to war in, in 1914 and 100 years later if their grandchildren, grand, grandchildren come to learn about it, charge them 25 bucks. I just think that's not, not right. The next chapter about New Zealand's involvement opens on Anzac Day. A life-size model of the trenches, including what they smelt like, opens in August. Emma Jolliffe, 3 News.